Yo, what's going on, Wad? Smite is down, and I just really want to record, so I figured, you know, I've been loving chess for a while. I don't play online much. My rating is only 719. I do play quite a bit of puzzles. I'm 1400 in puzzles, but uh, let's go ahead. I figured, you know, what's the harm in doing a 10-minute game on YouTube and, uh, you know, having some fun. Let's play. I'm fighting Slush, the 763. I know absolutely no openings for white. The only opening I actually know is the Karo Khan for black. I'll play into it. I'll play into it. Will I accept it? Will I accept your Karo Khan? I'll let you take. I'll let you take. I'll grab it. I think it's not bad. That's okay because you wanna you wanna trade this? I'm still up a pawn and I have center control. I'll take this. I'll take this. Go ahead, buddy. Go ahead. I did stunt the development of my pieces quite a bit with this weird opening. But if he does decide to take, I'm still a pawn up. Okay. That's acceptable, I suppose. That being said, um, what if I attacked this? You officially have nowhere to go. Because if he goes here... Well, I guess he could go there. Maybe I just focus more on development, you know? Maybe I just, maybe I just get my shit out and I castle. Maybe I castle queenside here, though. I think this is a good move. Attacks the queen. If he takes, and I then I can take back. So, not bad. Uh, if I take, he takes. I could take like this. If he takes, I take. Oh, but then... He can take for free. Understood. Understood. Okay. Well played. Now, nothing is under attack. I mean, this is by two things. It's also defended. By one thing, so maybe I double up, hit up some more defense on that, and then I can develop this knight in the castle. But I kind of want to castle queenside this game. I am down in time a little bit. Obviously, something you got to know. Obviously, something you got to know. Um, let's see what you got, bud. What you got? I have much more center control, though. I have much more center control. I'm kind of okay with trading the, the knight off here. Is I trade this off, trade this off, and then I go here, he takes. His pawn structure over here is really bad if he does decide to castle kingside. And it's an even trade. I trade, he takes. I take, he takes. Oh, and then I can take this. Eh. That's a lot of trading. That's a big trade down already. That's a big trade down. I'm thinking I just want to castle. But I also really do like messing this up for him. You know? I do like that. Because now, like, obviously he's developed on this side of the board. So he wants to castle this side. So I, I go ahead, I develop this, I castle queen side, and then I just pawn storm. Just all the way up. I've watched I've watched Gotham Chess. You know, I know about opposite side castling and pawn storming. I know all about it. I bought a couple chess books. I don't play the game very often, but I love to learn it. I love to learn it. <clears throat> Let's see what you got, buddy. We're we're almost identical in time. I'm down in like 14, 13 seconds. It's not a big deal. Not a big deal. Smite is down, by the way, and I just felt like recording. Now, let's see. If he takes with this, I take with this. I'm okay with this, because if I take with this, he's in check, so he has to take. He can take like that, I guess. But, I, I mean, is that even that good? What does that threaten? This pawn, I guess? Mm, I take, you take. I don't love it. Maybe I just naturally develop my knight to defend this pawn. 
If he takes this, I just take back. I'm okay with this, honestly. Because now I have I have my castle available if I want it. I could also just go here. Which I do not think would be bad. Um, we both have about the same space of the board, you know? I'm controlling these, though. So I actually have a little bit more space than him. <clears throat> oh, he did castle on this side. That's surprising. So I go here. Which means this is under attack twice. I could also just castle. Um, Castling same side scares me when his queen is already like developed and mine is not. What if I, if I take and I take and then I go here? It forces another queen move. But do I like that? I I don't feel like I like that very much. There's got to be a good move here. If I if I pawn up, actually, if I plan on queenside castling, I think using pawns here is not bad. Because if he takes, I take right. So now this is under attack two ways. And it's defended. This pawn is defended and this bishop is defended. So I feel like he's going to... Oh, I was not expecting him to take. I actually take with queen here. Am I losing anything by taking with queen? I don't think so. I don't think so. I think taking with queen is good because now my queen is developed. I can castle queen side. And then I, I already have my pawns going up, so... It's not looking it's not looking bad. I, I don't know who's winning here. I'm sure I've made a few blunders, maybe a missed win or two. But I'm not good at chess, you know, and and honestly, I really want to be. Um like I really want to be good at chess. But you know, this, I I've I've kind of wanted to make this video for a while to be completely honest because I love chess. Um I find it so fun. All right, if he takes, I take. He takes, I take. I'm definitely up, so I'm okay with this. He wants me to, to do something here. Um, What's my best move here? If I take, you take. I hate it. Uh, I hate it. I don't like my position. <sighs> what if... I can also just let this happen, because if he takes, then I'm fine. Right, like, he takes, I take, he takes, I take, he takes, I take. I'm okay with it. I lose queen knight for queen rook, so th that's fine. You know what? Honestly, whatever, dude. Whatever. If I go here, I do sack the pawn because it's undefended, but I also remove a defender of this block. Uh, let's see. What's a good move here? I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna move pawns up the board. I'm. Just, I'm just gonna. I'm gonna demolish the pawn structure over here. If he takes, obviously I take back, so he's not going to do that. <laughs> Let's see if he breaks this open. I have one, two, three attackers. He has one. Or I, have, I have three defenders, and he has three attackers. Although he could add a fourth easily. If he adds the fourth, I'm in trouble. Oh, but then I could just add a fourth. And defend. By the way, if you're defending, you need the same amount of pieces. Defending, right? So like one, two, three, four attackers. And then I have one, two, three, four defenders. Four, four. I'm okay with this. Five, if he adds five, that's when we get it in in trouble. If he adds if he if, if he does this though, I oh you know what? I was gonna say it actually isn't that good. He just removed a defender. So he has one, two three attackers and i have 
a pretty good amount. <clears throat> Let's see, if I go here and he takes, eh, you know. I can just push this, honestly. Because if he takes, I take, he takes, I take. And I'm up a, I'm up a rook. I'm okay with this. Are you going to take it? Are you going to take the trade? I, I'm okay with being up a rook. I'm okay with being up a rook. And I have mate in one right there, by the way. And he has literally no way to stop it. He could go there. He could go there and sack the knight. And that's a dub. That's a dub for your boy. Only one blunder. Only one blunder. Let's look at the analysis here. Look at the analysis. Let's see. Let's see. I played with a 90% accuracy. I had one missed win. No blunders, no mistakes, one in inaccuracy. So I'm white here, obviously. Let's go through it, right? We got book moves. We got book moves. Uh, let, me, let me look at the uh, analysis here. So this is the Carol Khan classical version. Um, all of these are book moves. Apparently moving the knight out of the way is better here. I just chose to defend. Which apparently means black is winning here. Just a little bit, but that's okay. He defends his knight. I attack the queen. He defends the queen. I defend the knight. Because I thought... See, this seems weird to me. Considering this is under, this is under attack twice. Oh, but maybe it's not under attack twice because I, this is pinned to the to the queen. So this is never really an issue. This attack here is never really an issue. I could have just developed. I could have just put a put a piece out or something, you know. Apparently, this is the best move. C three. I don't understand why it is. Oh, it's probably because queen can come out and pin. So this doesn't bother me at all. But yeah, I got. I should have definitely seen that this. Uh, this knight is pinned to the queen, and it's not actually a threat. But either way, I over-defended, and black is winning by a significant margin here by just taking this. He's winning by a lot. Is it that, that is completely unprotected, which is why c3 was the better play here, because now it defends this. So by over-defending, I actually undefended my d4 square, However, he did not take it, which was a mistake on his part, and he tried to break the pin between the, the rook and the, or I'm sorry, the knight and the queen. And I was like, you know what? Screw it. Let's bust it all open. Let's bust it all open. Now, I'm actually, I'm proud of this. I'm proud that I saw that that knight here was better than trading the, the bishops immediately. He castles. I attack the bishop. He takes, I take with queen. These are all best moves, by the way. So far, the only mistake this game I've made is over, uh, over defending slash under defending. So I'm okay. I mean, I'm, I'm looking good this game so far. Um, they really, they like, um, they like the queenside castle. They actually like queenside castling and not kingside castling the entire time here. So queenside over kingside is, it's rare, but it is good sometimes. And I'm happy that I was able to do it. Um, H4 is a great move here. And I think I played it next, which is good. Queen slides out of the pin isn't bad. It's apparently the best move and it's dead even in the game right here. The, the zeros mean that, that the game is dead even. He blunders. Now, the re originally, originally, this is my missed win, I'm sure. Yeah, that's my missed win. I knew it. But um, originally, I was like, okay, that attacks, that attacks, that attacks, that attacks. But this queen isn't attacking because it's pinned between this. It's not pinned. I mean, it can move. But it's blocked by, by his pawn. So I should have just taken. Because if he takes, then I take. But then he takes, and then I take, and then he takes, and I mean, it just ruins his whole structure. And But the reason that's a blunder is because I can push, which I think is exactly what I did. 
No, that was my missed win. My missed win was was not taking and not pushing. Okay. So that was my missed win. Over defending again. It seems like over defending things is my uh is is my problem. He moves queen when he should have taken. I push pawn best move. I feel like when you're 700 rated and a pawn push is the best move, it feels so nice when you actually find it. He takes, which is a blunder, obviously. Um, I guess this is his best move here. And it's still losing by two pawns. Um, because it's a queen trade, but... Yeah, that's rough, man. That's rough. But anyways, the way it played out was he took, obviously I took back, he took back, I took back. He could move here, which is probably best move. No, here. Oh, here defends the that. Twice. Okay, so that's a good move. That's a good move. What would I play in this situation? I'd probably pawn storm. Is that right move? Ah, here's better. Why is here better? I guess because I have like all this. Let me see. So D7. And then he responds with A5. And then I stack the rooks. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. That does make sense. So actually, you like pretty much never play this pawn. So we'll play it out to get a feel for the game and how the game should have gone from this point forward. Just because I, I think that's the best way to study. Um, apparently h6 is the best move here on on uh, Black's behalf. I'm sure taking is the best play. And then, what is it? It's either this... Or this. No, this sucks. That sucks. So it's definitely this. Right? Best move. Is the best move. And then I think you stack your rooks. Now. No, you do not stack your rooks now. You push the pawn past. I kind of figured you just like. Forget the pawn exists. Because the threat of mate is so scary. Because, like, I mean, like, obviously he can defend it at the moment, but, you know, things are coming, things are happening. Um, okay. So I take. And then his best move is rook over. That's weird. Oh, no, it's, it's rook here. I guess for this. B3. And it's B6. No, it says B6 right here. Are they the same? Yeah, I think... Actually, b6 is better, but it says that e7 is best. Which is weird. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Look, either way, this is getting out of hand. Um, It was a, it was a fun game, dude. And a 90% accuracy game. I was a real batter, but you earned the win. I'm I'm proud. I know my rating is really low, but um, maybe I'll actually play and learn. And the reason my rating is so low, like I said, is... I play a lot of puzzles, and my puzzle rating is 1400. But I only have 20 matches played of chess. <laughs> so, you know, of actual, like, chess games. But, yeah, I have a lot of fun with it. Let me know if you guys like the chess videos. Because I'm just going to, I'm going to upload this just because I feel like I, you know, I want to do something new. Um, And we'll see, man. If you do, maybe I'll do some more. Maybe it'll be, like, a, a, a climb to 1200 rated, which is a, officially an intermediate player at 1200. But we'll see. I don't know. Um, if you did enjoy the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always...
Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, guys. Peace.